subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Reggae Boys Commentary, like, share and subscribe, please. I'm Javon Watson and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, Reggae Boys Commentary, like and subscribe, yeah? Oh. Reggae Boys Commentary, like, share and subscribe. Yeah. Reggae Boys Commentary, <laughs> subscribe, like and share. Is that the right order? Yeah. We're back. And welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related, your number one source for Jamaican football. So, you know, I can talk for an hour straight about Adrian Joseph Mariapo. Yep, I'm going to say it. Jamaica's best defender of the 21st century. If you have a problem with that, come fight me. I'm six foot five, just a shade over 200 pounds. Come fight me if you have a problem with that. Because 99% of you, I'm taller and bigger. I'm stronger. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, guys, we're talking about an individual that has been reliable, consistent, and loyal to the Jamaican call. As we know, in November last year, Adrian Mariapa joined MacArthur FC in the Australian A-League. He has a deal with them until the end of the season. His kids have attended, are, are registering to attend, attend school there. So it appears that the foreseeable future will be down under for Adrian Mariapa. So Maps has played six times for MacArthur FC, yeah? And he has scored in two of their last two games. Yeah, back-to-back -back games he scored. He scored most recently in MacArthur's 3-1 loss to the Brisbane Roar. One of them was uh, his, well, his first goal was a, a venomous shot in the box. And another one, and the, his most recent one was a header. Six games, two goals scored, a handful of clean sheets under his belt, a passing accuracy of over 85%. 35 years old, and people are ready to tell him to sit down. Listen, this is a man that can play for Jamaica until he's 40, if he continues to take care of his body. And for those of you that have that keen eye for detail in terms of performances and data and how things have been mapped out in that van of manner, look at when he started going vegan well, pre-vegan versus post-vegan. Look at the player. Less injuries? Yes. Faster recovery time? Yes. Less complaints. Well, not complaints, but less fatigue after long flights. Even flying from Australia to come to Jamaica for international duty, he didn't complain about it. Not that he's a wine or anything of that nature. But my point is, Players that are traveling long distances often have need a day to sit out training. But the moment this land, this man arrives in Jamaica, you know where he is? He's in the gym. He's in the gym. Do you know the moment we're eliminated against Panama in the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers? You know where he was? In the gym. Adrian Mariapa and Omar Holness were the only two players in the gym an hour after we're eliminated. A testament to his tenacity, his work rate, his diligence, and his love for Jamaica. Remember, this is a man that at 15 years of age at Watford was released because he couldn't make it or wasn't good enough. But he's arguably one of their most successful academy graduates. He stayed, decided to work with... Uh, with uh, he stayed on in, in a sense where he knows that he was out of a contract, but he decided to turn up every day, go to the gym, work out... And eventually was back on board with things, got a apprenticeship, but wasn't getting a compensation. But eventually, guess what? Got a contract and played championship and Premier League football. 19, 20, 21. If you stay driven towards those goals and be relentless, let Adrian Mariapo be the definition. In fact, 
I'm going to call Oxford and tell them that the definition of being a Jamaican is Adrian Mariapo. I'm going to call them right now and say the definition of someone who is Jamaican is Adrian Mariapo. Because you have seen over the past two decades what this man has done. Oh, in England, you need to be six foot two to be a centre half. Man is five foot nine. The only man in the Premier League era that has been shorter than him that has played centre half is Aaron Cresswell at five foot seven, and that's because and that's in a back three. That's not in a back four where it's only two centre halves. This is Aaron Cresswell in a back three. So when you're in a back three, sometimes you're less targeted. It depends on what the opposition has to throw up on you. But Aaron Cresswell at five foot seven is the shortest in the modern era. The modern era. But, but Mariapa at five foot nine has proven that you can play centre half at five foot nine. Jumping over Van Dyke, jumping over Peter Crouch. He scored a goal against Stoke from a corner kick. Not many people go to Stoke and score a header, but he did. Jump over six foot six inch Hangeland at Fulham and scored a goal at Crystal Palace. Don't let anybody tell you that this man is done playing football. Don't let anybody tell you that this man is finished. Don't let anybody tell you that this man is, is on his last lap. He's not on his last lap. The only time this man has been unavailable for Jamaica is because of injury. Gold Cup 2017, Caribbean Cup 2017. Bar that and Gold Cup 2019. Bar that this man has made himself available at every other opportunity, Copa America, Gold Cup, Nations League, even against Aruba, he's made himself available. And he's been part of those moments that we have to look back on and smile, beating the United States for the first time ever, ever at a senior level, wearing the captain's armband when we beat, when we beat world number three, Chile. Just let that sink in right there. So you might be saying, okay, Simon, what's your point? What's your point in all of this? Adrian Mariapa still has a role to play in a national program. Nations League, Gold Cup 2023. And after that, this man needs to play a role in Jamaica's coaching staff. I said it. This man needs to be one of our assistant coaches moving forward. He already has his coaching badges. And he's just 35. Just let that sink in. And guess what, guys? I have not written any paper down. I'm just holding this pen in my hand for, for no reason. I am talking strictly from my head. No paper down, nothing written. I just decided to record this video and spit out everything that my mind has to tell me. How long have we been talking about? Almost 10 minutes? Eight minutes, thereabouts? Yeah. Adrian Joseph Mariapo is the definition of a Jamaican. And don't you all ever forget that. Because this man is one of our most treasured, needs to be one of our most treasured assets. I wanted to do this in another video, but let me give you this. Do you know who is our most capped English-born player? Dion Burton played 62 times for Jamaica. He's our most capped English-born player. You know how much caps Mariapa has? 60. And while I love Burton and, and what Burton did for us, because I was shy when I met Burton back in 2001, I wouldn't want anything more than Mariapa to hold the record for having the most caps as a Jamaican international born in the UK. I want him to have that on his resume. Three to go. But let me tell you something. I don't care if this video gets one view or a thousand views or more. I want everybody to know this player cannot be washed by the wayside. This man has to be kept in the national program. When his playing days are done, a coach. And who knows? <laughs> We might see Joby McEnough and Adrian Mariapa one day on the sidelines. And I'll be smiling from ear to ear. 
Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.